caused an excited discussion among space and extraterrestrial enthusiasts. The NASA rover Curiosity finding what looks like an alien skull in the reddish sand of Mars. The rover's camera reveals this image in 2014 that the potential alien skull was found not far from Mount Sharp on the planet Mars. Regardless of what NASA may say, Waring is quite confident that the discovery is in fact a skull, though he did not mention whether it might be the remains of a human or alien life. 4. NASA's Curiosity rover took an image of the red planet and captured a shape that bears a resemblance to a mysterious ghost lady. The level of resemblance is almost certainly relative to your desire to believe in extraterrestrial life. UFO Sightings Daily, the website that brought attention to the image, says that the shape looks like a woman partly cloaked. Perhaps it's a cloaked ghost Martian woman, perhaps it's a statue left over from a once great society. 3. An audio clip posted on YouTube, from a coast to coast where map show has a woman claiming to be an ex-NASA employee, also claiming that, she and some colleagues were watching a video feed in 1979 from the Viking Linda, when they saw two human-like figures walking around. Yep. Wildcard Line, you're on the air with us. Hi there. Hi. Uh, I'm having an interesting night tonight, aren't we? It is, indeed. And where might we be? I'm Jackie. I'm from, uh, well, North Las Vegas. Okay, but... Jackie, go ahead. Okay. Uh, John, I'm hoping you can solve a 27-year-old mystery for me. Uh, do you know what was going on in 1979? Uh, where? Well, on Mars. No. Okay. What was going on in 79 on Mars? Well, I, I used to work at NASA during that time and uh, handling downlink telemetry. And uh, one night on our video monitors while, you know, the uh, little Viking rover was uh, running around, I see two men in suits, not necessarily space suits. I mean, they look protective, but uh, they didn't look like the bulky things that, you know, our astronauts use. But they came over the horizon walking towards the uh, uh, Viking Explorer, and uh, our vision got cut off. I didn't see what they did with it or anything else. They were probably making repairs. Well, that's why I was wondering if they were our guys or not. Cause, yeah, they were, know, they you know were what kind of guys. suits they wore? Pardon? Do you know what kind of suits they wore? In well, they wouldn't have to wear very much. I mean, the atmosphere is, uh, there's enough atmosphere to walk around without a spacesuit on Mars, same as there is on the moon. I mean, there's not, it's like about 15,000 feet on Earth. Now, uh, you can go through a 24-hour acclimatization uh, program on the moon, and you can walk around uh, without a spacesuit. Uh, same thing on Mars. You don't need a spacesuit. Uh, if they had one, it was just minimal. Did you have any other witnesses there while you saw this? Well, there's about a, uh, well, out of the workers, there's probably about a half a dozen of us, because uh, we were you see the typical NASA things where they got all the monitors. Oh, yeah, yeah. So you had a few people out there monitoring the monitors. Yeah, you got about, a, you know, the people that were up there, and then there's about a half a dozen of us downstairs because, you know, it, it was just maintaining the uh, equipment because everything went wrong. We had to get it up quick so they didn't miss the uh, telemetry. You folks must have been amazed at what you saw. I, yeah, because, you know, uh, when we saw that and they cut off our video downstairs, of course, we ran upstairs and... and uh, you know, they've got uh, almost side doors upstairs. They have those little windows. I don't know if you, have you been there. I have not, no. Okay. Well, they got those side doors going up to the to the back, or what we call nosebleed section in most stadiums and stuff. But anyway, uh, you come up there, and uh, we could look through the little window in that because they had just locked the door, and they normally don't lock it on us. But anyway, they just locked the door, and then they came, you know, we saw some more on their monitors. And they came over some paper taped over the door. <laughs> they clipped it. Can you well, imagine Jackie, that, John? I appreciate you calling yeah. and telling us that story. It is great, and it just confirms what, what's going Can on. Can you there. imagine that, John? There they are looking at their telemetry, and they spot the monitors, and they're looking at the rover or piece of it, and all of a sudden they t see two human beings walking into the scene. Yeah, absolutely. They were going, just like Mars rover, clean off the dust. They had their paper towels and Windex and <laughs> cleaned off so it could receive the signal. Or, Two, in January of 2004, while searching for water on Mars, the Mars rover Spirit sent back this remarkable image of what appeared to be an alien figure resembling the sand people in Star Wars. NASA stated this image was most likely the shadow of a strange rock formation. Still tantalizingly creepy. One, alien hunters say they have spotted a mysterious facehugger crab on the red planet. Since the image was uploaded on Facebook, 
A number of people have said, it looks like the face-hugger monster shown in the 1979 film, Alien. The crab can be seen in an image taken by the Mars rover Curiosity, which shows a formation that looks like a cave mouth on the red planet. The photo was taken by NASA in July, but recently appeared in Facebook group, Journey to the Surface of the Mars, who is the slogan, they will not tell the truth about Mars.